We are currently on, yes, the deep dive playlist. So we have not watched the very first video in this series. We're going to rectify that now. And then we are going to continue with the uh, horror series Sinkhole. So prep yourselves for that, folks. And if you have no idea what's about to happen, buckle yourselves in. We're about to have some fun. Oh, and this is called One of Us. Please do not be alarmed. I have sent this transmission from 30 years into the future. Hey, if you can see this video, then McWiggin. it means you might be one of us. If you are watching with a friend and they cannot see this video, do not be concerned. I don't it know if Siri is not one of us. If you notice patterns and signs that others do not, you might be one of us. If you get the sense of deja vu, you might be one of us. If you feel like an outsider, then you might be one of us. You might be like me, a descendant of a long dead alien race. Our purpose is to protect and advance this Earth. We are this planet's last and only hope. However, we are in danger. The backward many are searching for us. The backward many can look like anyone, even a friend or family member. Their true form is not yet known, but they can enter most human minds. It can lie dormant for days, months, even years until it comes into contact with one of us. It may not present itself until our abilities present themselves. Before transformation, they may complain about a headache, a ringing in the ears, a loss of appetite, or an inability to get warm. Once they transform, they will progress in a backwards motion. They will be faster, stronger, and will no longer communicate. What? Oh, I love, I love this idea. Like, once they're infected, it's zombies, but they all move backwards. That's, that's an incredible concept. Kate, we advise retreating or a weapon, as they will quickly overpower you. Wife must be pretty worried by now. Say, Doctor, what's your first name? Frank. Maybe I'll name my kid Frank. Frank Dunbar. Sounds great. Frank. In the back of your mind. See Frank, your government. It strikes your throat first. This, this whole act here wouldn't be because of a UFO sighting now. It's a UFO situation, Colonel. When these things occur, it's policy to check out all the personnel involved. What do you mean, check out? If you are seeing this, then it means you have seen the first transmission. It also means you might be one of us. If you are abnormally empathetic, then you might be one of us. If your dreams seem to come true, then you might be one of us. If you find patterns in numbers, then you might be one of us. I apologize for the short and random broadcasts, but I must be careful or the backward many will find me. Terminate me. And possibly, you as well. If you are one of us, then it's important that you know how to defend yourself. I, I love that we've watched several of these series now, and every single one of them in this connected, like, world that is being slowly fleshed out introduces new, like, conspiracy or supernatural elements. It, like, it's, it's very, it's very fun. Hey, bird brain bug. Thanks for jumping over to the riverboat site. How to protect yourself from the backward many. First of all, congratulations on possibly being of a higher calling. Your dreams may give birth to a better tomorrow. 
Wait, made with the purpose of protecting Olympian DNA? Is this confirmation that, like, that, that, that Zeus is real? Hashtag Zeus is real. The backward many are everywhere. If you are not one of us, then you could be a host and a danger to my kind. The backward many can look like anyone, inhabit any normal mind. Only another like us can truly be trusted. Our brains operate at different frequencies than that of a normal humans. We're watching some the analog horror. Is to blend in, hide, loud noises will keep the backward many from noticing you. Headphones when in public will help conceal you. Loud cities are preferable as our thoughts can get lost in the constant motions of the city. If they become aware of you they will hunt you. You will have no choice but to disappear. Leave everything behind. If you are confronted, we encourage running or hiding. However, if oh you God. capture one of the backward many, loud noises may return them to normal. This is not guaranteed as the outcome largely depends on the strength of the host. Music or ambient noise of kind in your homes will conceal you. However, this is not a guarantee. What? Oh shit, it's backwards. Cool. We are the backward many. This earth belongs to us. The people belong to us. Their destiny is up to us. You are not wanted here. You are not welcome. We will burn this world down to the ground and remake it for our kind. For our children. There is no place for you in our world. Surrender and you shall not suffer. Sources of food and power must be found. Artificial atmosphere is created. Everything done to build... By the way, what does back exclamation point mean here? I, I have no idea. Oh, do you mean BWA? Uh, Logan? Oh, uh, BWA doesn't stand for anything. Um, it basically... Uh, Basically, when I was a kid, I wanted to use at, at one like my family would play Scrabble together, and at one point I wanted to use the word "bwahahaha" because Bowser says it. It's clearly a word. "Bwahaha" is a word that should be allowed in Scrabble, and uh, I said that, and then people started signing their their sub messages and their dono messages with uh, "bwa" or "bwa." Um, largely because uh, the text-to-speech can read blah ha 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 you know, ad nauseum. It can read blah ha ha but it can't read blah B-W-A. So, like, people were signing blah ha ha in their uh, dono messages, and uh, one of the messages cut off with B-W-A, and it, it basically read it off as, Bwah ha 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 ha, ha 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 ha, bwah ha 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 ha, B W A, and I found it very funny, and other people in chat found it funny, and now it's just a thing. Can we have a chat command for that clip? I don't know if I have that clip, but I I would make it if we have it. So that is what that means. And now it's just kind of an expression of like community solidarity in, in my in my little neck of the woods. So here we go. An earth away from the earth. No man living today can predict exactly. Good night, Checkley. This transmission, then it is safe to say that you are one of us, and that means you are most likely in terrible danger. Unfortunately, the agent you have been dealing with is missing. We fear the worst, 
so I have no choice but to continue your orientation. In the last decade, the backward many has expanded its influence. Wait, what did that say? I couldn't read it from the, uh... In the last... He is the last find him? Uh. last decade, the backward many has expanded its influence to its largest since the 1940s. Many thought after the war they were largely extinct. But hope appears to be misplaced. The world has grown increasingly unstable, and our Olympian brethren have been driven nearly to extinction. Furthermore, we believe they are tampering with the timeline. The alarming number of citizens with false memories and discoveries of artifacts from alternative histories confirm this. I imagine many of you are asking, what are the backward many? There are several theories. The church would call them demons. The cult of the backward call them gods. Some might call them aliens. Most believe they are something else. Personally, I believe the backward many are. Oh no, they found us. Please, for your sake, go into hiding. Protect the bloodline. Protect your family. Protect. Oh shit. The backward many versus the forward few. Yo, there's a secret war between people who walk backwards and people who walk forwards, and also some of the people who walk forwards are are, are literal gods. This genre is crazy, and I love it. Okay, so this seems like maybe it's related to what we learn later on in the series which is that there there's multiple interdimensional wars currently going on on earth what's this called so i can find it uh later to rewatch here uh this is the first in a playlist it should be um we as a community have already watched through um the second uh season the kind of i guess mid-season and then the uh 
So I I guess this is kind of like the prelude to season one. Then season one is the Tangy Virus. Uh, season two is the Oracle Project. And season three is the Children Under the House. We've watched those three, but there's a whole bunch more that we haven't watched yet. Uh, and after we finish this video, we're going to watch uh, The Sinkhole. Um, I don't know what any of these are about, except that I do know that there is some relationship between all of them where, like, a bunch of just crazy shit is going down on Earth, and we honestly have no idea what it's all leading to yet. So, uh, this is pretty cool. So basically, what I think we're watching here are broadcasts from a parallel universe that is upside down, i.e., the backwards universe. It is Super Jet Guy. You are one of them. Do it, you cronian. This is my last transmission. I don't have much time. New they phone, who did? Stop this signal. They have trapped me. No, my wife. My children. They are everywhere. I'm sorry for dragging you into a losing war. Be safe. its uptick in cases, authorities have maintained that contacting the disease is very rare. The future is backwards. Okay, Larzers. Find her. Stop her. She is a danger. Find her. Stop her. She is a danger. Find her. Stop her. She is a danger. Find her. Stop. God abandoned the forward. Maybe Super Jet Guy, depending on which one you show it to. If you're saying this, then it means you're one of us. I don't know how many of us are left, 
And unfortunately, I think this transmission is, was, our last chance. As of sending this message, the backward many have apparently won. They've eliminated the Olympian bloodline in the future, and they're hunting us in the present and past. The world appears to be engulfed in war, disease, famine, and death. The backward many won't stop until there's nothing left. But good news, things weren't supposed to be this way. We're trapped in an alternate timeline designed by the backward many, a timeline that leads to a future where they rule. There are more of them because they changed something. How do I know? I trapped one. Thank God for those transmissions because they saved my life. My boyfriend turned. I tried to save him. I tried every loud noise I could find, but it didn't work. I only ended up torturing him. The trumpet was probably the most effective. He told me things he probably was supposed to. Unfortunately, it killed him, but I think I can save him. I learned two things. What? One, the backward many are human. They just travel through time differently. Two, they can only control those with a backward counterpart, which is everyone except those with Olympian blood. We have no counterpart. That gave me an idea. My solution is simple. Send the signal as far back as possible, and maybe someone in the past can find a way to give us all Olympian blood. Maybe they can alter people through the food, our medicine, the air, something. Hopefully, this will save us all, past, present, and future. Oh. If I'm successful, then this transmission will be a relic from a forgotten reality. Is the Tangy virus the Olympian blood? Did did Oracle fuck? Okay, so, all right, I I do need to catch you all up on what's happening. We'll 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 get we'll get you there before we start the next one. Okay. That everyone can see. Awesome. That was great. Um, okay. Mandela catalog and backrooms is what I'm feeling from this so far. Uh, yeah. Erica Monet. Uh, yeah, th this is like, th those are both examples of analog horror. So this is kind of in the same vein. Also, holy shit. The Mandela catalog is scary as hell. I love it. So for those of you who are new to this, um, this is a series that is put together by Vintage 8, uh, which is a great YouTube channel. Um, but they have different storylines and different seasons, right? So the, this was kind of the prelude to all of the events. The second season, or I guess the, the first official full season, is about the Tangy virus, a living like sentient virus that propagates itself through water. Um, then we have, uh, the second season, which is the Oracle project, which is essentially about, uh, the invention of a self-aware supercomputer that then goes on to become the basis of the internet. Uh, and in that season, we learn that effectively earth is a battleground between time travelers, multidimensional entities, uh, there are several different species of extraterrestrial active on planet Earth. Like, there, there's all kinds of stuff. And then it, it ends with the, uh, the supercomputer deciding it is going to become the beneficent uh, fascist dictator of the planet in order to keep humanity safe. Um, <laughs> and then uh, there's the children under the house, which kind of opens the door to a sort of spiritualism or like an afterlife in this universe where there's like spirits and um you know people pass on into another uh world when they die and uh that one is about um you know spirits that are attaching themselves to this family um and it's told from the point of view of the therapist who's interviewing uh, one of the children. It, so those are all very good, very spooky. Uh, and then we are going to be doing, the next one is Sinkhole. <laughs> 